Just play. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, this time we are actually doing something different. We are playing uh, Final Girl. Uh, and this one is, uh, let's say, solo only game. And most of the time is that most, what we will be basically doing is trying to, uh, it depends on the actual films that you have. So it has like mini expansion backs. But main, the main gist of it is either to kill the actual killer or sometimes just try to go out or just outlive the killer. But this time we are pairing the polar guys of Creech Manor and the actual Creech Manor location. And uh, this is a very special killer because as you can see uh, on, its, on its setup, it doesn't have a um, health. So it just has a starting horror uh, as for the setup, which is three at the moment. And then uh, main gist is we have to free Caroline. So basically, we'll have to find her among the three places, the garage, the attic, or the closet, and then go from there. Once we found it, we have to exit from all these three points here. And hopefully, we can do it. Uh, the game works in a couple of phases. There's the action phase where you try to play what you have on your cards, so which is the cards available here. And then the planning phase, which we you then use the available time that you have here, showing here, and then by the cards or the actions that you may use the next turn, the costs are properly on the bottom right here. And then it then moves on to the killer phase where we follow the steps that, that they have here. And then uh, we draw a tarot card, which just adds a little bit more drama to what was happening. And then if there are like any last thing is the panic phase and then the upkeeper just basically returns back everything that we have and then go from there. So uh, let's try to finish the setup. So on this regards, we have to create the item deck. So uh, usually you, what you have to do is just draw 12 cards and just uh, slip them up here. But well, the way the setup is that you need to get your first 10 cards first. So we have to get our first 10 and because we need 12 and we will be mixing Caroline and Mr. Floppy in the list. So we will just get our own 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we disregard this. Now we shuffle the 10 that we have. Once we have that, and then we pick the first three at the top that we'll be showing. So one, two, three, right? And then we just pick up Mr. Floppy and Caroline, and then we just shuffle them up there. Once that is done, we can then start putting them up in the actual system. Okay, so we go from here, garage, attic, closet, Yes, yes. Okay. And then the remaining three, we just flip up. So we have a flashlight here. So it's a once per action phase for every time you may look at the top card of the terror deck, leave it or place it at the bottom. So basically, you just want to give that. And we have an ancient text. You may lose heart to gain time. Okay. And then we have a candle as well, which says once per action, uh, place may move a victim, sorry, may move a victim from an adjacent square to your space. Okay. So those are the three available ones that we have right now. And then we complete the setup by picking one of the setup cards, quick shuffle. And then this is what we have. So I'll put this away. So we have two civilians, the attic, one on the closet, one there, one there, and the killer in the bathroom, in the ballroom actually. So there should be one, oh, sorry, not that one. The one here, one here, and then two on the trophy room. We will be here on this side. 
And one last here. Okay. I think that's it. That's what we have. And so let's put that. The ladder is what it says. And lastly is we get our event. So we shuffle this as well. And then from here, it says here, frozen in fear. It says here, victims will no longer panic during the panic phase. That's good. They just will, it means they'll just be staying. Is that, I'm not sure if that's good for us. <laughs> I'll have to find out. But unless that's the actual two things that we have. So now, I think we have everything set up and we are ready to go. Okay, so now, so we have our first set of cards here. So we have usually two walks, two focus, and then short dress and a weak attack. Since Polar Geist doesn't really need to attack, I, we can't really attack it. So I guess the weak attack is really useless in this case. What we can do is maybe pick up one up. Once basically, if you go near a civilian, they can two immediately can go to you, then we can just jump out here, right? Then maybe we can get some of our stuff here immediately going. We do want to search for her. Oh, sorry, this should be yellow. There we go. Okay, so now I think, I think let's do it. Uh, let's do one shot focus first, right? So what will happen is we will roll a dice based on what is the value here. So from this point, so from two to six, we will roll two dice. And then from one to zero, we get three. And then if six, we roll one. And the dice is basically just 30% uh, each, right? 33% each. So we have no success. We have a pitch, two dice to success, and then the actual success rating. So in this case, we want to focus first. So we will get two more times. Two more. Um, we want to be able to do a success on this one. So we have more time to do so. So just do that. E. Okay, that's a fail. So that means a fail. We just lose the time. So we go one, two. That's not good. It's not a good start. Uh, I guess we just need to walk. Maybe we, we find a way to go to the closet or the attic. Let's see what we get first. Okay, let's try to do walk first. Let's see. Let's do another roll. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. Let me do that the roll first. Okay, so we can pitch one to get one success. We can cancel maybe the short rest and the weak attack. We can pitch it to uh, be canceled, right? So we can at least move one. We can do here. Finally, we have and uh sorry, we lose one time as well. We're now down to three. And let's try to do one last focus. Maybe we can regain those time. Mm, where we, what can we buy with three? We can buy a search if we want to, and we can buy a sprint. I think we can go for a sprint, right? Maybe we just buy a distraction and we just go drown for two. Yes. I think we might just want to try that. Let's go for that. So now, since we have three, uh, we are ending my turn. And we are now going to the planning phase. It means we can purchase some cards based on the current time that we have, which is three. Uh, we can pitch one card. So it goes back uh, for one. So for example, if we need to buy something, uh, I think we need to go there first. We need to be able to go there, search stuff. Let's get a sprint in and maybe one close call. Hmm. I'm thinking uh I'm thinking we just get a distraction just to keep the horror level down. 
So I'm taking one distraction and that's it. Now anything you've spent basically just goes back here and then you can buy it the next turn. Okay, so now it is the killer's face. So the killer goes in order. So it has a movement of two and then uh, an attack value of one. And then whenever it goes up, it just goes like that. So for a movement of two, it goes to the nearest one. So from here, it goes here. It either goes up or down. Let's say we go left, right? Sure, we go left. Kills this. Because it kills it, it can it bloodlust now goes up by one. And as such, that means this the horror level goes up, and that's it. That's its turn, and then we will then deal with the terror card. And the terror card says the ground is shaking. Place the polar guys in your space. Okay, that's bad. Uh and what it says. Attack. It does attack. It basically attacks us. Uh, it will attack a civilian because the order is always a civilian first before it does attack us. And then as such, it does gain another bloodlust and then gains its dark power based on that one and says stiff wind. All your moves of two or more spaces are reduced by one space. That's bad. It's two or more, so that means we will always be moving by one space only, and that's not good. Okay. Is that what we want? As I start, an immediate hampering of our movement. So I guess we have to focus on movement now. Uh, and then this recess to six. Panic phase, nothing. Take the uh, victims do not panic and upkeep. Reveal finale if no terror cards are left and rearrange items, and that's it. So now we have only three cards on our hand. We have a walk, distraction, or focus. I guess we do a distraction first. So hopefully we can do something about that. Ooh. I think we pitch two because if we fail, if we fail, we can choose and then go down by four. It's too much. No, I think I think we, let's do that. Let's do the failure, and we lose one horror. And then we go down by four. So one, two, three, four. And then I would need to do a walk. Do another one. One success means we can move up to one space. Let's go down by one. Uh, so we will now move from here to here. Let's bring that little guy to us, right? Finally, let's do one last focus. Let's change that dice. That dice is not good for us. <laughs> the dice are really not going our way. So that's fail. That means we just lose two. No time now. Now, since I don't have any money, all I can do is pick up all my zero cost cards. And this now goes back here. Destruction goes back there. And then the killer goes again. Killer moves for two. I guess it's going to go to us, right? The nearest one. Let's go here. And then it's going to do a kill. And because of that, the blood that comes up. And that's it. We then deal with the actual terror face quickly. So it's an unstoppable evil. We roll a die and then we see the result from there. So it's a six. Uh, take damage equal to your roll, you may defend or kill that many victims. You may choose which victim. If they're not there, you must choose to take the damage. Six. I just deal six damage to myself. So basically, I'm just, just like that dead. I don't have a defend with me. We can kill that many victims. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
I guess that's the way. So one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> stupid. This is just stupid. Okay. That's done. That means it goes up by six. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, it's right here, right? One, so one, two, three, four, five, another one, and then six. My golly. So basically the killer is just all done with his, all his stuff. Okay. And that's our turn. So I guess we do a walk. So we move up to two spaces. We will try to move to two spaces. We will, we will be doing a walk. Finally, we get two successes, but unfortunately because of the stiff wind, we only move one. And we will be able to use the freed one into our space. Uh, I think we are going to be using this. So we go one, two, and we lose one time because of that. So we're now five. And I will try to do a focus this time around. Let's see if this works. Okay, we can pitch two cards. I think I'm going to pitch this too. So we will be uh, reducing the horror by one and then uh, raise the time by two, one, two. And then we lost all our cards. And that's it. And then it's the killer face again. Killer will move for four. So one, two, three. It's now in our mists. And it will attack us for three damage. Since we don't have anything, we'll just be losing three of our health immediately. Just like that. We are almost dying. <laughs> okay, I guess. Yeah, this game is really brutal. See, just a couple of turns already and everything goes dire straits. Okay, now I guess it's our turn. Uh, this goes back to us. Oh, sorry, I didn't even buy yet. So we have seven costs. I forgot to buy. So we will be buying some... We need some defense, yeah. So we need to get some guard in. Two. So this goes one by two. Uh, doesn't matter. The sprint doesn't do anything because the sprint is because of this, right? Is there a way for us to remove the dark power? There isn't. Reduce by one space. So it's fine. So we can actually do this. So that's two again, one, two. And then I guess we do a distraction. That's one, two, three, goes back to zero. Then resets to six, everything is back to normal. We get focus and walk. This goes here for next turn. Okay. What can we do? What can we do? I guess we need to keep on moving first, right? Uh, let's do another distraction. Maybe we can get that into a one cost affair. Oh, perfect. Yes. So we lower the horror by two. And then we gain time to two. That's perfect. And then let's do a sprint. Okay, so we looking for move three spaces, so basically two in our case. We will be rolling three dice now. Okay, we got one success. What does one success get? We can move up to one space and we can pitch two. No, I think we 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 stick with the one success. So this goes down by one, and we get to move by one. Oh, we can actually climb because of the ladder, because there's a ladder here. 
so we can climb there, right? And I would want to do another walk. Just so we move, keep on going here, try to go up. Oof. I think we move one space and then uh, remove one health using that one. We lose two time. One, two. Okay, and that's our turn. That's our turn. And then I guess. Uh, has a movement of four now, so he goes one, two, and attacks us for three. Uh, we can defend, I have a guard, so we will be playing our guard. Reduce damage by two, so we will be taking one damage only. <laughs> we have one la life left, and we will be taking it from here if we ever do die. I think let's use that, so just take that, put that there, so that will be our one last one. Okay. Means it goes down because it hit us, right? Yeah, I think the bloodlust, even though there is no attack, the bloodlust increase for every attack, right? Let me double check. Uh, Let's see, attacking the final girl. No, it doesn't say so. Well, okay. Blood does, doesn't increase. I thought blood does increase for everything. Okay. So now, uh, this goes back. And it says you discard the next card, next terror card, which is in our case uh, this, and we take damage. I oh, know it didn't. It didn't increase, right? So we just do this. Everything was flying around. It increased horror again. And then place the portal guys with the closest victim or in your space if there are no victims. Uh, guess I'm dead. This goes back here. Sorry, this was this turn. No, 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 no. no. Forgot to put this back. It's back there. There. And there. And it attacks us again for three. Unfortunately, we are dead because of that. And even though we have one last life, because it's attacking us for four. <laughs> and just like that, the uh, game is over. Uh, we have actually died. Maybe I should just try to do that a little bit slower in this case. So I, I think we, we, we want to do another round for this case, since we haven't even touched the uh the the item deck we actually don't need to do that we can just can just shuffle this one I think this was the real barrier which we could not even do anything that and let's get a new setup card uh, which is here this new setup is. This time around, and we keep the event right. The frozen fear is an actual good event, and this is let's do a reshuffle of all the terror cards. Actually, let's get the other set. Reshuffle that in. 
we get new sets, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then put this back here. Let's set up all the meeples again. So there's three here. Okay. One here and one here. And then one in the corner there, one there, and then two and one. Killer goes here. We are at the entrance. Okay, and let's go. Let's get started. Hopefully, this is another. So we shuffle that. Let's put that our back, our health. And lastly, that one. Uh, it's a little bit shiny. Hope it is legible for us. So now uh, it's our turn. Let's go to the action phase. First turn, round one. We want to move. Let's say let's do a walk first. We want to go there. Focus only will do. I think we do a walk first. So we do two space. We got one success, we can move up to one space, and then the time moves by one. Let's do another walk. Hopefully we can pick them up, go here and here, right? We get one success again, so that means we only move to one here. Okay, and time moves down. And I think we do one last focus just in case we able to get this thing down. And nothing, so the time just moves down by two. That's our action phase. Now go to the planning. We buy for two. I guess we, we buy the sprint. That will be our thing. Then we set this to six. And then this goes back here. And that's it. That's all the thing that we can do. It's now time for the killer. <laughs> so it has a movement of one. It has a movement of two, sorry. So it goes one two and then kills this guy because of that the blood blood lust goes up our meter goes up then we deal with the terror card it says the ground is shaking place the poltergeist in your space oh my god okay and then does a kill attack which it does again Ah, brutal, 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 brutal. So it goes here. It's basically the same thing that happened last last time. Hopefully this is isn't. So it's eternal despair. So whenever you resolve a horror roll, lose time for every one showing a die after reroll. So okay, so every one we lose one time. Okay, that's not as bad as I hoped. It's much better. And that's it. So now it's our turn. Okay, we can do a sprint. I think let's do a quick sprint. See how it goes. Good, we got three successes. I guess let's move this guy out. So we go one, two, leave you there. Means uh, we have a walk with us. No, we don't. We have a short rest and a weak attack and focus. So if we do the move, we just go there. Maybe we use this. So it goes down. One, two. Sorry, 
that's one, two, three. So we go up here, and then we use that. Uh, I think we will need to do a, sorry, we lose one time as well. What can we buy with five? We can buy another sprint. We can buy another sprint. And we're basically getting our walks back, right? For three and maybe a search just in case. Or we should we always get our guard in? Don't think so, Red, right? Let's do another focus, hoping for a good roll. Yeah, one success we can. Yeah, I will pitch these two cards in, the last two cards. So there'll be two successes. And with two success, we get one less four roll, and then we get two time back, right? Okay, and then it's time for our planning phase. Uh, I guess we get sprint. That's for two. One, two. We get all this back. So that is one, two, three. Uh, let's get the two close calls in, I think. That's one, two. Should we get a guard? I think we might need to get a search. Let's get a search. So at least we get that started. One, two. Maybe I remove one of the close call. Let's put that back. And then let's get ourselves a guard just in case it attacks us. All right. And that goes back to zero. And set the timer to six. Killer goes through. Uh, moves for two. So in this case, it goes to us and attacks us for one. So one damage. Oh, we can actually guard. Let's do a guard roll. That's no, one damage. I think let's leave that be. One damage. Increase bloodlust by one. Does it always increase bloodlust? I already checked, but it's so weird that it doesn't. That means it only does that. Oh, okay. That means it will just keep on killing me, right? Okay, sure. Uh, so now we do the terror phase. Let me see what's back here, sorry. Go to the terror phase, and everything was flying around. It says we increase the horror by one. Place the polar guys with the closest victim or in your space if there are no victims. With the closest victim is one, two, one, two. So it goes here and then kills that. So this goes up here. And that's that. Okay, so I guess we can go to that place and do a search. Let's do a walk. Should we just do a sprint? I think we just do a sprint. If we do a sprint, one, two, three. We can go here and then save them. I think we need, we need to start searching, else we can't do much. We can do one, two, one, two. Wait, where do we go? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God, that's a lot of movement. Yeah, this is the only way. Okay, let's do a sprint first. For ooh, actually, because of that, I want to do a focus so we can keep that down. Mm. Mm. There's a one result there. Uh, 
Let's re-roll one die. Let's re-roll this. Finally, good. So we get one success. I think that's fine. This goes down by one, and this goes down by like this. So now, for our uh, sprint, we will be rolling three dice because of that. Nice, three successes. So we go one, two, three. And then uh, time moves down by one. Let's do a walk this time. Roll three again. Come on, be good. Perfect. So we go one, two, right? And then it goes down by one again. And let us let's do a search. So take the two. So we are in the closet. So that's what we've been looking for. Take the top two item cards of your space and choose one. We got one success. Or we pitch two. Uh, let's pitch two so we get two successes in. So to take the top two. So let's see. Hopefully we get Caroline immediately. So we get that. And we got a crucifix. Basically, we have a choice now. Discard the, uh, I think let's get the crucifix. Let's put the flashlight at the end. So now we can discard this to ignore the effects of a single tarot card. So that's what we want to get. Okay. Now, time for the buying phase. We get back all of this thing. Sorry, not that. So we get three focus, short dress, and one. I think we can buy one search and one close call. Put that to zero, setting back to six. And that is our hand. So let's put that in our backpack. And this distributes. Zero, guard, search, sprint, walk, and focus. It's the killer's turn, goes, moves for two, one, two, and that's it. Terror turn now, says, Curlin, where are you? Curlin's not with you, discard and draw the next turn card. Okay. Then the shadows are closing in. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next star card. Otherwise, crease two, one, two, and then move. Wait, wait. Target closest victim, move. And kill. So it moves for two, one, two, that's it. Cannot kill, too far. And that's good for us. Okay, so now we want to do one last search. Hopefully we can get those remaining ones. Oof, 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 oof. We can pitch two. We can remove the weak attack and the short rest, I guess. Okay. We are pitch two, so we get to take the top item, whatever that is. So this is now considered a success, and we lose one time. Uh, be good, whatever this is. Hey, it's Mr. Floppy. Well, this is if the dark power has been revealed, it is. You may remove this from the game to ignore the effects. Caroline, where are you? Oh, if the dark, if that dark power, Caroline, where are you? If this, this, if this card is a card for any other shop under the nearest item deck. Okay. Uh, 
put that in our hand, that in our backpack. We still have two cards left, and I think that is the extent of what we can do. We can do a focus maybe, because it will then attack again and it needs to. Hmm. What do you guys think? I think we just let that go. And we keep our cards as we have. Just keep this two thing. And see if that helps. Awesome. Let me try to maybe see if that's better. Ooh. How is that lighting? Hmm, that's much better, I think. Okay. So it's the killer's turn now. The killer moves by one. Kills this guy. And just like that, it gets two more horror. And then... I would go to the tarot card. What does the tarot card does? Everything was flying around. It goes or it goes up again. Place a progress with the closest victim or in your space if there are no victims. So the closest victim is this. Just one, two, three, four, five, two, three. Yes, it's there. And then kills it. God, kill, kill, kill. That goes back up. Actually, I forgot to do our buying thing. So we get this things back. And we get what? Search for two, sprint, and a close call. This was back here. This was back here. Terror card. Oh, we did that already. Yes, we did. And now it's back to our turn. We need to do some focusing or else we'll be rolling one card. Uh, let's do a focus first. Roll just two cards in. Oof. I'll do a re-roll one die. Finally, that's good. We can pitch two out. I think we can pitch the focus and the walk. So that's two successes. And that means uh, this goes up by one, two. And then this goes down by one. OK. Finally, it's just two items left there. Uh, I think let's try to do one last search. See if Caroline is there. Else we need to move on. Yikes! So we will be using our close call. So let's do and reroll both dice. Hey, that is intriguing. Fine, let's get it. Let's get the last one. And the search uh, will take top item and card your space. Pitching two cards, it goes down by one to get this last one. It's a map. And says here, during the action phase, place and action phase, and then for each uh, discard during the action phase, and then for each item deck, do one of the following. If the top card is face down, you may turn it face up. If the top card is face up, you may discard it from the game and turn the next card face up. Ooh. I think we discard it. So we discard this too. I don't need a candle and the ancient feet. And we put this way up. So lucky rabbit's foot it says here during the action phase. Discard during the action phase to make a horror roll for each success. Choose one of the following. Okay. And then this one. Is a list of things. 
we just roll a die and then you get the list of things in there. Okay, where are you, Caroline? And then that's for our face. We get to buy for five. So I guess we need to sprint to move on to the next one. And then that's for two. Two, and I guess do a search for another two. Or no, 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 I think. Let's do a distraction for the two cost. And then this all goes back. So sprint, walk, close call, search, walk, focus, close call, focus. Okay. And then it's the killer face now. It moves for three. So it goes one, two, three. Yikes. And it does attack me for two damage. Uh, I don't think I have anything. So it does direct damage of two. Just like that. And then we do the terror face. It says here, roll a die. Okay, please don't be a six. It's a four. Take equal damage to your roll or you may defend. Can't or kill that many victims. <laughs> There's four left. Kill this four. So it goes one, two, three. And then four, it goes back down. Then we discard the next terror card. And then we take one damage because of that. And just like that, it's done. Uh, so now I think we need to start defending ourselves because we only have one health. So I would want to do a distraction first. But this goes back to six. I think we use this one. Uh, we lose four time. One, two, three, four. And we just fetch that up one. And then let's do a sprint. Let's get out of this space. We get to move by one, two. So we got to move one, two. Right, and then we lose one time. And I would want to do a short rest so we heal ourselves up. One success, so zero time, and then we heal for one. Let's get one of our random things here. So hopefully still survive the last one. Okay. And then we can't buy anything, so we will only be picking this up. One, two, three, four. Put that away. Distraction. Okay, okay, okay. Now it's the killer's turn. Moves for two, one, two, one damage to me. And then because it damages me, it goes a bloodlust by one, it goes here. Okay. Our turn. Oh, sorry, terror phase. Says the windows and doors just slam shut. If you're inside, you may not move during the next action phase. If you are outside, you may not enter during the next action phase. What? I can't move. That's not good. That's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to move. 
guess we're just doing a focus this time. I think we want to do that. Let's remove weak attack and one of the walk, so since we cannot move. Let's consider the two success. That means this goes down by WAP and we get two time. Okay, so we buy a guard for the attack to divide this two. That's four. We do a search. And another guard, I think. So we are safe. We have a walk with us, right? Yeah. We just need to walk one and do a searching. Okay. That's all that. This goes down to six. Uh, let's put our walk in, our weak attack, and our focus inside there. Okay, so it's a one on one now with all the uh, with all this. Poltergeist. You think? No. Let's do that a rule. If it's a mistake, uh, let's find out. <laughs> okay. And now it's a killer's turn. It doesn't need to move. It attacks us for one. We guard. And we wanted to uh, do a close call. We can do that two turns. Okay, so let's pitch focus and fine and guard. I want to walk and do a search. So now we able to what's that? Reduce the damage by two. It's just damage of one only, so it's fine to us. And then the terror card. Uh, corporal form. A behemoth appears to me. Play action cards. Uh, we'll discard this crucifix, I think, because that's just damage to us. And ignore this. How many cards? Ooh, one left. And we will get our final form. Okay, okay, okay. So I guess we will move for one. Uh, let's do that. One, two, one damage. Let's see if we do die. Yes, we still have one life. And then move one space. Let's do a search. I will reroll one die. Ah, same, same. Okay, fine. So we just take the top item of the attic. So this. So immediately roll a die. So let's immediately roll a die. The two, it's in the garage. So reveal all items to cards in the associated deck, keeping their order the same. Okay, so in the garage, Caroline, are you there? Order the same. It's a dice. And a knife. So Caroline is with me here. <laughs> okay, we just need to survive this, Caroline. And I think we can't. Focus, we can attack, walk, and short rest. Because we don't we, we don't have anything to stop the damage coming to us. So basically, the killer's turn goes here, and it just kills us. <laughs> oh. Just like that, it is dead. And that's final girl for you, right? So that's why they say it's very hard, because uh, movement is all about dice, and then a um, lot of planning that really goes all out.
And what happens, basically, if this runs out, so this is the last card, right? Then that means the killer gets to go to its final form. And looks like this. Place the polar, so it's always going to go to our space and basically attacks us twice. Ouch. That's one of its powers. And yes, that's it. That's our two attempts at final girl. Uh, the polar guys basically just kills us. and. We were not able to do anything about it. So thank you for joining and be successful on your final girl attacks. <laughs> bye bye.